Hey everyone, welcome back. This is my re review of Hyperdimension Neptunia, the animation episode 2. So this episode was also pretty good. I did, ha I do so far have some problems with the series as a whole, or at least what this episode tried to portray, uh, with assumptions that it might carry over to the rest of the series, and I'll talk about those at the end of this review, though. Basically, this episode starts out with... Oh... Uh, I care. Basically, a uh, blank who is. I need to try to find um, which color she is. Gotta be kidding me. Well, Blank, um, once my computer stops fucking up here on I me, mean, I'll check what color she is. But Blank has two little sisters named Rom and Ram, so yeah. Rom and Ram. Yeah. Um. But basically, they end up getting captured in this episode by this weird, perverted. I don't feel like, like, creature. I'm not exactly sure what he's supposed to be. Um, thank God. God damn it. Um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure what he's supposed to be, though. Um... Okay, yeah, bl blank is white, and we also have Vert having her transformation in this episode, which is green. Blank does transform, and then Noir transforms once again, and remember, she's black. I thought she was purple. No, that's right, Neptune is purple, never mind. Um, but, yeah. And also, there's another uh, character who's supposedly working with this weird creature, but we only see him or her, what it, no, I'm not sure if it's him or her, for a few seconds, and then him or her is kind of gone, like defeated by uh, Noir, all right? And that's basically the plot, all right? Um, ne uh, Neptune, Noir, and Vert, As well as Nepgear, which is the uh, Neptune's sister. And I think Uni might have went along too. Who's uh, yeah, she went along too, and she's black. She's a Noir sister, and to, in order to rescue them, eh, and uh, Blank couldn't go at first because she had previously fainted because of lack of sleep. All right, but. She did end up showing up later on in order to make her transformation and whatnot. And they end up saving Ron Ram in the end, obviously. And it was a pretty entertaining episode. There was also this scene before they were, Ram and Ram were captured where Neptune, Noir, um, Nepgear, I think Uni as well, as well as Ram and Ram, went actually to a new park that's recently opened up and it was basically a Mario park, okay? It had all these pipes that the characters were going in and out of and it had coins that they were collecting by just holding onto them. Obviously, they didn't run into them and collect them. They grabbed them and whatnot, but I that was probably my favorite part of the episode because it was just so funny, that Mario reference in there. Also, when that weird creature was flying up in the air, I forget what he said, it was some sort of a pedophilic statement though, what? Was that supposed to be a Pokemon reference? I mean, because Pokemon was originally a game, but I don't think that came into play until the actual anime and manga. So, was that supposed to be a Pokemon anime and manga reference? It's kind of interesting right there, but... Yeah, it's basically all happened in this episode, and like I said before, it was pretty, it was pretty entertaining. Now, here's my problems. Now, this episode tends to try to go for more, uh, sympath... more, uh, sad thing, I guess, with... Uh, or more sad tone, I guess, with Blank feeling like she's 
a bad sister because she let her sisters get captured and whatnot. But I don't know, there was enough build up for the turmoil, so I I mean I cared, but not as much as I could have. Alright. And also that weird pedophilic creature can go fuck himself, of course. And yeah, that's pretty much it though. Overall, I enjoyed this episode pretty well. This series turned out to be very funny. I mean, I expected such because it is based on the console wars. And there's an actual war going on with characters that are representations of the consoles. But also one thing I have to ask though is who are the other uh, characters based off of? Because we know that Neptune's based off the cancelled Sega Neptune, but from that area you figured it'd be okay, maybe the Saturn, maybe the N64, maybe, maybe the PS1, maybe other consoles like that. So I'm interested to know what are the uh, other uh, characters are trying to represent. After starting to watch, after watching the first two episodes of this series, I really want to watch the actual series. It's, or to, I mean, to play the uh, games or the game rather, because oh man, this series is really funny. So I really want to play a game, the uh, game game. Yeah, but overall, hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.